Oh, my fly's undone. Oh. Clearly, I'm the one that should be talking about fashion. Yep. In honor of you being a Latina, we're doing ropa sucia. Dirty clothes? Dude. <laughs> Dirty laundry. Wow. <laughs> The Met Gala has come and gone, and you guys, there were no nip slips. Nope, not even an elevator brawl. Even Becky didn't show up. No, it was just, you know, good old fashioned, futuristic, robotic, sparkly, latexy fashion. That's right, let's check it out. <laughs> Beyonce! Wow, that is a dress that she has on her body. The queen of the night, Beyonce, wearing a peach latex dress at the Met Gala. It's latex, it actually is made of latex. Mm. I do like this dress in a sense of the styling and the flowers that you see, but I don't like the material. This latex material has got to go. How does she get into it? Can we, how many people did it take? There's a zipper? How do you put a zipper in latex? I have so many questions. <laughs> is this dress see-through? Is that why she has her purse? in the coin purse area. You know what? Latex usually is a very daring, very scary choice, but I think she pulled it off, and I think she looks great. She looks freaking fantastic. What do you think a Tinder date would say if I showed up in that outfit? Oh, I think you would get married immediately. So she does good. look like a walking safe sex ad. It does look like a dress condom. It does. Oh my god, I could never see Beyonce the same way again. We say she looks like a condom, but she looks like the hottest condom I've ever seen. That is definitely a condom I would have sex with. I don't think she looks like a condom because she's Beyonce and she looks better than something latex like that. <laughs> it also looks like a very elegant shower curtain. Let's talk about her hair for a second. Yes. Clearly, she's doing a whole in your face, Becky. I got the good hair. Exactly. Right? She's like, Becky, you have good hair, but I have great hair. Oh, Snapchat. People are saying no. that's Becky's skin. No, if not Becky's skin. Go, Becky's skin, no. girl. Let's talk about her smoky eye. Oh, is that green? It's really dark. It I'm actually really not sure dark. how I feel about it. It matches the little stems on her dress. It's very beautiful. Damn. Holy, Holy Look at that ass. Oh my well, God. body looks banging. I didn't that's see for it from sure. the side. And me neither. And I I'm saying I like it side. from the side. What? <laughs> this is what they write songs about. This booty. Say so, jiggle in that. That condom is keeping it tight. <laughs> I just want to put a coffee right on her derriere. Wow, I could take a nap on that. But you oh. see that? Holy moly. We should, like, bow. Oh, we should just bow. Yeah. That's a nice like, little curve she's got what? going on there. Beyonce has had really great moments at the Met Gala, but I honestly think like this is just the best. Now listen, like I said, I love Beyonce. I love everything she does. But the whole theme of the night was fashion meets technology, like today, modern day. I yeah. just don't see how technology has anything to do with this dress. It looks more like a cupcake than something robotic. She's just beautiful. Like, she's so beautiful. Eye makeup, not, not even necessary. I cannot stop staring at her ass. Ass. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Best ass of the night. This is the reptilian shapeshifter, Taylor Swift. It looks like Coachella just chewed her up and spit her out. Taylor Swift showed up in a Louis Vuitton metallic short dress at the Met Gala. Taylor Swift showed up looking like a silver fish. This is like a serpent. I like that she's going bold. I like that she's trying on metallic colors. It goes with the theme of the event. Absolutely. Which is basically when like machinery and Fashion in an age of technology. Boom, boom, slow clap for that. It's a flamboyant rhinoceros. It just is so wrong. I could really dig this dress if it was maybe just a little bit less busy and like the layers weren't there. She has excellent taste in lipstick. Oh, she lip does, color. doesn't I mean, she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Looks good. Mm. We're both wearing the same lip because Taylor just wants to copy everything I do. Oh, she just definitely like, looked at your Snapchat before she got dressed for the Met. Just like when I dated Calvin Harris. Oh. I don't want to talk about it's it. It's gonna be okay. Her face. Flaw. Liss. <laughs> Flawless. If I were to dress up as a Hershey Kiss for Halloween, like try to be like super sexy, this would be kind of it. She's got a great body, so her chest, her back looks amazing oh in this two-piece yeah, ensemble. Back this, the back of this is better than the front of this. And I love the cutouts. Everybody was wearing cutouts, and they are slaying in these cutouts. She I don't like it. I love her shoes. <gasps> like, you should have just come naked in the shoes, Taylor. Those shoes are super <laughs> cute. I love the shoes. They look like black 
what is it, like wire tape, but I actually kind of enjoy it. I do not like the shoes. I think they're way too strappy. It's like its own accessory, the silver on the back of the shoes. The back of those shoes, though, okay, I don't like that. Love the shoes. That's where I stop. <laughs> I feel like she's starting to transform into the more like punk, like edgier. Mm. So I wonder if that's like a hint to what she's working on next. Possibly, and I do like the lipstick too. It's just mm. dark and raw and you know what? I think this is cool because normally we see Taylor, a country girl, nice, clean cut, and this is like raw in your face and I'm all about it. Uh, I think it's just all a little trying too hard to be machinery. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. Is this a machine? I think everybody at this Met Gala thought technology just meant sparkles and silver. Tin foil is what yeah. you need, like black computer tape. I know she had the bleach blonde hair from the Vogue cover shoe, and then like, um, the, this is kind of Vogue-ish, the Met Gala event, but I just can't get with it. This is the best I've seen her look with that hair. Agreed. Taylor used to wear sparkles so much in the beginning of her career that this is just like, the 2016 version of that. Like revamped It's like completely. really flipped, but still has that little bit of Taylor in it. Mm-hmm. Remember when you just wanted to be crazy when you're growing up and yeah. when you go to prom and do things different? So I say, yes, Taylor, yes. Be different and look different and don't fit in. This is like Coachella, like 2.0. Like Coachella like changed her. Calvin changed her. Calvin changed her. <laughs> Selena Gomez. Oh boy, that's a dress and a shirt and some shoes. Lena Gomez showed up at the Met Gala looking like she was 14 and shopping at Wet Seal in a polka dot dress and boots. Hot topic. Yes. <laughs> Hot topic. This is a Louis Vuitton dress, or as I like to say, a Louis Vuitton, no way should I ever put this on dress. Selena looks like a little girl. Like oh. Prairie Girl meets Mad Max. It's all about the theme and I think she's doing, you know, Mad Max Fury Road with the top mm. meets, I don't know, with the bottom, yeah. but I yeah. like it. It's just a little like, hey, I used to be on Wizards of Waverly Place and this was my <laughs> wardrobe that I took home one day. Okay, so everybody might be hating on Selena's dress, but I don't think what they get that Selena showed up being unpretentious. She still looks great. I think her makeup is incredible and I am in love with Selena Gomez, so it's so hard for me to hate on right. anything We're that she wears. We're not hating on Cell. We're hating on the dress. Yes. Compared to everybody else we've looked at, this is like too cutesy. Is that a nightgown? Like, you gonna sleep in that later? Trust me, I love a good, like, efficient outfit. It's like a little nighty though. Something you go out in and then don't have to take off later. It looks like it's studded. It is not. Not polka dot, but studded. Oh, then you probably shouldn't sleep in that. And the worst part of this outfit, I thought it couldn't get any worse until I looked down. <laughs> those shoes. I love those shoes. I want those shoes. Yeah. They're, those are Ooh, cute. Those are look cool. at those shoes. Those are cool. Those are some, those are some bad like shoes. Those. They're combat boots. Well, she needs to, someone needs to combat her into never wearing those again. So these shoes remind me of Ronald McDonald if he was gothic <laughs> and stuck in the 90s too. You know what, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate the shoes. I think it's, I actually think I own a pair of shoes very similar to those. The shoes remind me of what you wear to a golf, golf club. Nope, wrong. The shoes remind me of what you wear to a golf club in like the 80s. Yeah. Also, she's got a great rack, which you cannot tell in this picture. This does nothing for her figure at all. There is nothing flattering about this dress. No. It's not a sexy outfit. What was she thinking? What I was she smoking? Know. Selena, where are your boobs? Your stylist left them back in the, the dressing exactly. room. Exactly. As Heidi Klum says always on Project One Way. One Way? One oh, Way. Your well, ours are hard for Asians. <laughs> it might not be Met Gala, but I do like that she just at least attempted to do something different, not the average sexy gown dress, and I, I credit her for that. She's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm like really excited about, like I'm like really, ex it makes me really excited. Kendall Jenner wearing a fishnet gown at the Met Gala looks beautiful. Jinx. I actually really <laughs> love this dress. I love this dress so much. It fits her perfectly. It's like painted on. It yes. looks like she's like a mosaic tile and like her skin are like the tiles with the dress. Ooh, I like that. Okay. That's Thank very you. nice. Thank you. It's like a mosaic that I just want to caulk. Caulk? Caulking is you what you do. You caulk mosaics? You caulk, C-A-U-L-K. The dress is essentially a bunch of blue and white netting over like a pantyhose fabric. Yeah. See, I thought she was wearing um, 
Crest dental floss. <laughs> Everything about this look is elegant, it's classy. She looks drop dead gorgeous. Her makeup is on point. Kendall never overdoes it Over. on the makeup. I love Kendall for always just keeping it super natural and simple and then she still looks just amazing. Yeah. The fact that she's got zero like eyeliner on. Right? Like who Lipstick. is this girl? I didn't even look at her eyes. My my eyes went straight down to the boobs. She goes a little over the top with the outfit, but she brings it in with just like a natural look. Like she doesn't care about like all the weird colors of eyeshadows and lips. She just wants to be natural. She looks great from behind. Yeah. I like the cut of the dress in the back. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Yeah. Like this couldn't have she couldn't have picked a better dress to wear. Look at this butt. Like you can those are cheeks. Those, those are, are cheeks. cheeks. Oh, but Joan in the background. Look at Joan. Oh, Joan. Look at Joan in the background. Oh, but let's focus she's on so Kendall. Pretty. What is this being held together by? Do you think she just went to her stylist and was like, here's some string, make magic. I know. Despite the fact that this dress is super daring and you could see it all, it still looks really elegant on her. And it has like all the perfect cutouts. The jewelry is nice and simple. The hair slicked back. It, <sighs> this is what a supermodel should look like going to the Met Gala, yeah. flawless. Delicately covering her features with a bunch of cutouts. You can see her ass, you can see everything. I can't see the nipple ring. I hope she took it off for this dress because can you imagine if some of that netting oh gets stuck? My Dude, that's gosh. all I could think of. No one else could pull off a slicked back pony like Kendall. No. Mm -mm. This has gotta be really drafty. Like, I hope those seats are warmed inside this place. It's oh, crazy. Okay. It looks like it's just a bunch of strings, and it is. Good night, folks. <laughs> here we have Nicki Minaj. Yep. yep. She's wearing some seatbelts. So here we have Nicki Minaj in Moschino mixed with Jeremy Scott, like their collaboration. Mm -hmm. It's just like, here's some straps and a trash bag. Oh, look at these buckles. Thanks. Nicki Minaj got technology confused with Fifty Shades of Grey. There's so many <laughs> things happening. You know what that strap looks like? It looks like uh, sushi paper. Like seaweed? Yeah, seaweed. Like she's a buckle seaweed Ursula person. I feel like she could pull off anything because she has like the fiercest face. Yes. Like I don't even care. Like look at her face. I just saw Nicki Minaj in all the tabloids for like Time 100's most influential people, looking absolutely classy, sophisticated, beautiful, very little makeup, all black everything. And then she shows up to the Met Gala in this. It was like, ah. Look at her boobs. I can't get over her boobs. <laughs> like, where does the eye go immediately is the boobs. I'm not looking at the dress, unfortunately. That's no, I'm not either. Um, I, <laughs> what dress? There's just boobs. And it, yeah. it's right there. Okay, yeah. She's like, X marks but the like, spot. This I just know. looks like the boobs were out so much, like everything wanted to come out, so they try to like conceal it all. <laughs> Duct tape her in? Yeah. Her breasts are screaming for her attention. She's got the Cruella de Vil hair. She's wearing so many belts. I don't know what she's trying to keep together, but there's no focal point to the dress. It is way too busy. Boobs. But like, these buckles remind me of Santa. They did. You know what? The buckles are really weird because they're they're rhinestones and they're square. So like Nikki looks great in this photo, but my favorite thing is looking at the people in the back of this photo, like the Olsen twins. Miss Yon, Fuller House. Yeah, shame. They're like, probably looking for their bag of coke or their fame. Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just still bitter they didn't do Fuller House. I know. I think that's what the problem is. Yeah. Was. Plus, I love Lizzie more. Did the nail poke a hole in her oh God. in her little sleepy there? Look at her nail. It's bursting Did out. Did she rip a glove? Her nail is bursting out. Wow, always practice safe <laughs> hands. We wow, if she were one. in surgery, she would have just contaminated the body. I've seen Grey's Anatomy. You're not allowed to wear those nails in the OR. The theme of the night was fashion meets mm. technology, and this outfit reminds me of Fifth Element. Do you oh, remember that? Okay, yeah, I Fifth can Element, see that. not white, but black, so she is mm -hmm. totally all about the theme. Yes. She's totally trying something different. But I do have to say, her lip color. Oh, that's good call, Sarah. It is really pretty, though. It's the least conspicuous thing happening on her body. I love her hair like that, too. I don't think we've ever seen her hair quite like that. For Nikki, I think this makeup is pretty understated. I like that the rest of the face is toned down, but the eyes are like, got that wing going. I'm all about this outfit. I yeah. give her kudos for trying something different. I think on anyone else, that hair would have looked very like Elvira vampire-y. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But for Nikki, it looks, it just works. Like, I think she looks beautiful and she's like, she looks like she doesn't give a about anybody's <laughs> thoughts about her dress. Oh. Ah!
Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik make my life so nice. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did I just turn into? I really want to push you out of the school. <laughs> so Zayn and Gigi made their first red carpet public appearance together at the Met Gala. That is perfect! She is being fashion, he is clearly being technology, and they came together like a couple to complete the theme. I love that. There's so many jokes to make about Zayn right now. I'm pretty sure there's like 5,000 memes calling him the Winter Soldier, as well as her knight in shining armor, but he forgot the rest of his outfit. Look at the Asian man behind them. He's so angry. He's He's like, pissed. He's going through a divorce right now. He's like, don't <laughs> freaking kiss in front of me. I love the color of her dress. Mm -hmm. I really do. Iron Man, he's channeling Iron Man. Actually, I think this is the edgiest, weirdest, craziest thing. Beyond Beyonce's condom, we got Iron Man sleeves. I've never seen those sleeves. I think that's awesome. Well, aside from every Terminator yeah. film. <laughs> he's wearing car parts. So Kim and I got best dressed couple, I think, from Vogue, but I disagree because I am going with Zayn and Gigi. I really like this. Did she put jewels on her part in her hair? Oh. Did she have diamonds in her part? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's the so details pretty. are everything, oh Danielle. Oh my god. She has a glitter part. Have you heard of this thing? No. They like, so when you part your hair, they put a little bit of glue or magic and then they put glitter there. <gasps> yes. Understated accessories. That's the way to do it. You really That's have to be subtle. It. Especially like those giant um, metallic arms, like super subtle. Right. Understated. <laughs> but you know what? I really enjoy the Iron Man sleeves and I really enjoy her little uh, sequence womp romper thing. It's like, it's like, she has a hot robot boyfriend, and I'll oh. order four of them. I have a fun fact about Gigi's nails. They what? cost $2,000 because she had jewels, like rhinestones, or like probably Swarovski crystals. $2,000? Who's looking under your nails? I don't understand the point of that. Um, I don't have any nails. $23. Um, $2,000. Zero dollars. Yeah. <laughs> All done by All myself. All natural. <laughs> All natural. Yeah. You know how sometimes you, you go online shopping and you buy weird mm -hmm. and you're like, where am I ever gonna wear this? Like, you're just waiting for someone to invite you to a party <laughs> so that you can wear your impulse so buy. Zane had that. He just had it in his closet. He's like, finally the Met Gala. Also, she just turned 21, so she's like a walking disco ball. She's gotta look good like that. What does that have to do with turning 21? Because that's like a party. <laughs> you're 21. Oh dear God, I love this picture so much. She's like, you're mine, you're mine. She's like, you got a little something in your teeth. Here, I'll get it with She's my like, tongue. Can we just talk about his, uh, oh. the way his text is coming together with that one diamond? That's oh. beautiful. It's like a diamond belly button. This is like a total trend, like having your underwear show, sh like having your underwear show under your dress. And it's just, I think I it really enjoy it. It is a trend, you it. should try it out this weekend. I already have. One year ago, he quit One Direction. One year later, he's at the Met Gala with a model, his model girlfriend. There okay, you go. Okay, Zane. I we see you. Okay, we see you. Definitely don't go out in a thunderstorm together, though. Beyonce takes it. Why? Because I believe in safe sex. <laughs> <laughs> I have to give my favorite look to Kendall Jenner, who I thought oh. was super daring, but yet so classy and gorgeous and just, oh, she's just perfect. Mine is going to Selena Gomez. Kidding. Kendall Jenner Slate. I want that dress, bitch. <laughs> I liked Kendall's the best because yeah. I still can't get over it. It still like, makes me excited. Like I'm like, shaking <laughs> in the chair. She looked really beautiful. Over excitement. I'm gonna have to go with Taylor. Uh, this is just not Taylor's usual look and I'm kind of liking it. It's different and she's trying a new thing. I'm going with Zane because this is literally the only event that you could get away with wearing that jacket. My favorite? Yeah. My favorite? My favorite? My favorite was ZG because, I mean, they were perfect from his Terminator outfits or her just having crystal encrusted nail diamonds. They just went all out. Uh, I think my best dress is gonna go to Zayn and Gigi. I think they just complement each other so well. It's got the right amount of pizzazz to it. Like, he kind of overshadows her with the arm things but it works well together. But not too much, because no. it's not the whole body, it's just like his little accessories. Well, if he had walked in there as a knight, it would've just been like, uh. <laughs> All right, so from knights to shiny condoms, everything was basically represented at the Met Gala. But technology. Very, very true. But let us know what your favorite looks were down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and come back every week for more super dirty laundry. Woo! Things get weird on Beauty Break when Lily and Jocelyn get their feet Stuffed by real fish. So you can click to the left for that. Or you can click to the right for Taylor Swift versus Selena Gomez. Who wore it better on Dirty Laundry?